Hello everybody, this is Dr. Vibha here. I'm from KIMS Bangalore, uh, which stands for Kempe Gowda Institute of Medical Sciences. I did my undergraduation there for five and a half years and I graduated in 2020 with uh, a gold medal. Coming to infrastructure of the college, there are two campuses. One is in Banashankri, which is called the College Campus, and the another one is near Kia Market area, which is called as the Hospital Campus. The distance between the two campuses is not very great. I mean, it must be about two to three kilometers. That's about it. There is a bus that plies uh, in the morning and in the evenings from the hospital to the college and uh, again from the college to the hospital and things like that. So usually the hosp uh, hostel students uh, make use of this bus. And um, other than that, uh, there are um, hostels for UG students right uh, next to the college. It is just, you know, few steps away from the college and the PG students get accommodation near the hospital. So recollecting my experience in first year, I think we were about 150 students to begin with. That was what the strength of our batch was. And we have had about five to six cadavers for uh, that many students. So you are split into that many groups and each day, according to your roll number, you get uh, your chance to dissect. So over the you know span of one year, each person will get their turn at least two to three times. So, and while your friend is doing, you can always observe and watch. And uh, especially in anatomy, it's more important to kind of uh, know everything and dissection is, you know, even if your friend is doing it, you can just observe and you will definitely get your turn. And uh, coming to other labs, um, physiology, biochemistry, pathology is excellent and even microbiology all of the labs i would say in the hospital i mean in the college campus they're pretty great and i believe they've even come up with a new building now which looks a lot more fancy so whoever is joining will have a great time i'm sure so in your uh, pre and para clinicals almost uh, you are spoon fed i wouldn't say exactly that but there are excellent professors coming in and taking classes and they even tend to give you notes. It is up to you how well you make use of that. But I would say, especially your first two years, there's a lot of uh, hand-holding and guidance. So there's nothing to worry about that. Coming even to your clinicals, uh, third year with um, uh, community medicine and ENT, ophthal, and even your final year subjects, I never felt uh, there was any, uh, you know, there was nothing lacking in the academic aspect. The classes would go on, uh, you know, each HOD would make sure that all the topics are covered before your exams. And um, they're all excellent doctors who are taking classes, clinicians, and not just the textbook knowledge, they also tend to discuss their clinical experience. So I would say overall academics is pretty strong in this college. Um, other cultural and sports activities, maybe not as um, vibrant as you would find in a engineering college, but they do make sure that you know you are keeping in touch with your creative self. And uh, all the third year students, they are asked to organize the sport, uh, sports activities fest once a year and they um, are allowed to do it all by themselves so that they're also developing some leadership qualities and time management, money management and everything. So they are allowed to do that and the culturals, it is hosted by the intern batch and I would say all of it is done pretty well and the college is uh, kind of well connected with the, you know, uh, like all the stalwarts in Karnataka, whether it's sports people or the actors and actresses who grace the occasion on our um, annual day or the cultural fest. And uh, we actually have a Kuempu Kalakshetra, which is like a, like a stadium which is uh, attached to our college campus and uh, you do get sponsorships and they also host uh, something called as KPL Kempegada Premier League so there are a lot of um, for cricket fans it's great uh, you're split into teams there are you know professors who buy your team and I mean it's fun it's really fun there is no dearth of even non-academic activities I would say so um, 
it was pretty smooth sailing even in final year all the professors made sure that uh, we are well prepared and even during the exams uh, they help you out a lot they make sure that you know their students are um, scoring well and clearing and uh, once you enter internship it's again it's a very nice experience you get to kind of uh, split your cells into batches and depending upon that uh, you are you know sent to different departments i personally started with the major subjects that is uh, medicine surgery and obg in medicine i had a swell of a time a uh, lot of cases are discussed during rounds every day uh, if you show enough interest they let you do things on your own procedures again if you really um you know and the pgs actually encourage you to also step up and do the procedures and genuinely if you're interested nobody will say no to teaching and surgery yes again you do get to do minor procedures and you do get to assist and um, you will definitely be allowed to kind of uh, um handle the dressing area and everything in the opd uh, compared to a government college where uh, they will probably allow you to do minor procedures by yourself um not really that does at least it didn't happen with our batch is what i observed but if you really want to do it there will be a pg guiding you and they will let you do it so you just it's all about how you navigate the space and how you are with the patient whether they feel confident enough to you know let you do that and even in obg i would say it was very nice all the other clinical subjects if you show interest you will get taught for sure and um, the community medicine department is again pretty famous in kims they are known to um, be associated with who for their rabies program and things like that and another plus point i uh, you know noticed especially during my batch is that uh, rural postings usually in other colleges you are sent away for a few weeks to the rural area here it is just like a day trip they take you in the bus they have uh, other chcs that they are associated with you need to spend some time you get to learn once you finish your uh, days work there they bring you back so there's no overnight stay over there for your rural postings and even for the urban postings in uh community medicine or the uh, preventive and social medicine uh they have good tie ups with a lot of um, uh, uh urban health centers here in bangalore so overall i would say it's a good learning experience but it's not too taxing like going and living in a rural area so overall i would say internship was a good experience you get to learn you get to do procedures and uh, it's a nice place to work whether i would recommend my ug college to my juniors i would say definitely yes um it's a very um humble college and uh, the teachers are excellent some of them have been there for many years and uh, they do take education seriously they do take healthcare and medicine seriously and um, they will guide you and uh, they will take care of you like how you know our teachers actually took care of uh, us during our school years especially the pre and para clinical teachers who also form the student association so overall i would definitely recommend the college once you pass out you will be a good well rounded doctor um like share and subscribe to medical mentors